The West Valley Fault traverses the greater Metro Manila area, making it a metropolis with literally a sh shaky foundations. The magnitude 7.2 earthquake that shook the Visayas last week has dwellers of the capital imagining a similar scenario. In this report, Metro Manila leaders show us, based on precise calculations, what a magnitude 7.2 earthquake in the metro would look like. Here's part two of our in-depth report on the West Valley Fault. Exactly what will happen to Metro Manila if a 7.2 quake strikes? A, a total chaos. So if it's time, time, night time, uh, cover of darkness, uh, mayhem and panic would ensue. That's a poor scenario, atmosphere. Nighttime, daytime, uh, better chances tayo siguro, similar to what happened in in, in Bohol, uh, but just the same, panic. There have already been two warnings made loud and clear. The Japanese government, who funded a study released in 2004, known as the Metro Manila Earthquake Impact Reduction Study and the Australian government, who bankrolled an updated study released just last Thursday, both are concerned about the risk of unpreparedness. 37,000 deaths, 600,000 injured, hundreds of thousands of square meters of floor space in varying degrees of damage or collapse, 500 fires raging, the instant a magnitude 7.2 West Valley Fault earthquake hits the greater Metro Manila area. With no uh, then, oh. MMDA Chairman Francis Tolentino showed Solar News the maps that were the results of the risk analysis project funded by Australian Aid, released only last Thursday. Wala pa mi nito, except the mayors and me. This particular map shows the number of fatalities in every barangay. White means there are zero or no fatalities. There are very, very few of those white spots, meaning the prediction is that the 37,000 deaths will be spread evenly throughout the metropolis. Yellow means low fatality density, but that means anywhere between zero to 200 people are expected to die in that area. Take note that almost the entire map is covered in yellow. Areas colored orange means anywhere between 201 to 500 people are expected to die in that area, and that's just considered a moderate fatality density. Areas in pink means 501 to 1,200 people are expected to be killed in those areas when the earthquake strikes. High fatality density. And areas in red are where the prediction is that more than 1,200 people will die. Very high fatality density. Take a look at the map that shows estimated number of life-threatening injuries. Areas in white mean zero life-threatening injuries. Yellow means anywhere between 1 to 100 people will be seriously injured in these areas. Orange means 101 to 200 people will be seriously injured. Pink, 201 to 300. And red, more than 300. And that's just those with very serious injuries, approximately 16,000 a small fraction of the total 600,000 who will be injured. With 600,000 injured, where will medical aid come from? Uh, that is assuming, you know, assuming that uh, our hospitals are still standing. So, yung mga existing buildings na nag-survive sa earthquake and with uh, the medical staff in there will be the first ones to receive the injured victims. And this map shows what areas will have complete collapsed damage of structures in square meters. Homes and buildings that are not built up to standard or comply with the National Building Code are sure to be destroyed. White areas mean there will be no collapsed structures at all. Yellow areas mean anywhere between 1 square meter to 41,500 square meters of collapsed structures. Orange means 41,501 to 83,000 square meters. Pink means 83,001 to 124,500 square meters. And red means 124,501 square meters or more. But For instance, different from the geohazard map. Kalye Industria, near Katipunan. Tatamaan siya. Moderate damage. So yung orange, yung heavily damaged. Ayan o. Ayan. This is for what? For... Montinlupa yan. 
ang worry natin yung mga two, three-story buildings, four-story buildings, constructed 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Yun ang mag... Uh, ang the probability of those buildings uh, collapsing is greater kesa dun sa mga buildings na newly constructed at high-rise. Okay. Dahil ang construction nila is accordance with the building code, matibay at uh, pinagandaan itong 7 uh, magnitude earthquake. That's just damage to buildings and homes. Authorities are worried about the 500 fires that will break out all over the metropolis, 80 of them in Pasig City alone. Yung isang sunog nating malaki, hindi natin mapatay halimbawa sa recto, sa Cubao. Papaano yung limandaan? Di ba? Next to impossible.